okay great great i hope you have seen the previous video where i have explained that what is the course outline and uh, who should uh, attend this training now i will go directly to the software this is the software with me you can see that from here i can select all the uh, documents this has recently selected favorites my publications these are my top publications and then i have made a folder for every project like maybe for the best work maybe for the brand equity company performance competitive edge corruption designing a questionnaire digital this is one book i am writing education management greater bay area healthcare there are several projects i am working on so for every uh, project or book i am writing i have made one project you can also see that so once you inserted the articles you can select by the publication like you want to see only the publications which are in general of marketing in higher education then it will show you all the publications which are in general of marketing in higher education similarly you can do the filters by the name of author there are several authors for example you want to search that the articles which are written by mohammad farooq so you can simply go to the all documents okay you can clear it for, for like like for every uh, document you will clear it you will go to the authors and you want to know the okay you want to know about mohammad farooq for example you want to see my articles you go to m over here and then you will see that you will find the articles with the name mohammad farooq so the chances are my name is Muhammad Farooq. It will show in the F section, which is Farooq. Dot M. yeah here you see that uh, this is Farooq Muhammad so you can see it will show the articles like uh, my service quality article and then uh, I have like written the articles with other authors this will show my articles this Farooq Muhammad all these are my articles so if for one paper two people are working together it will show the those two paper papers if you uh, want to see as individual papers you can see the individual papers so this is how I can read the papers this is what I'm telling about the interface I started from here and then I'm telling about rest of the things like you can see by tags you can have the tags of every article which I will explain in detail in uh, the upcoming sections just for an example for example this article i can see that this is title this is the author this is the journal year uh, volume issue abstract of the article i can add manually but it's not required i do not need it however for tags for example i would like to say that this article was written in malaysia for example malaysia i can make one tag you can make for your projects for example you are reading 100 articles and you want to just filter them based on your project you don't want to make the folders then you can make the tag and then from the tags you will select from the bar here my tags just like I made the tags or oh, airline Bangladesh brand awareness brand engagement then you can see with the with the tag and you can see the publisher you can see the author you can see the filter by the keywords uh, for example you want to see the branding articles you want to see the online survey panel articles so this is what you can do for uh, the interface I would like to say that uh, uh, over here in the file you can say you can import you can export the things you can add the files you can add a file over you can add an int entry manually in the edit section you will you can find anything you can paste anything in the view you can view library as a table you can view also library as a as a citation but i do not recommend it i would say always view the it as a table you can change the citation style from here there are several citation styles for example american uh, medical association and you just you can just change the citation style 
within a second with just one click and then there are tools like you can invite your colleagues on Monday you can install the web things from web you can install the MS Word plugin you can check for the duplicates if there are multiple uh, articles so this sync button is used if you want to if you have an on online library uh, and you want the online files to come inside your this library or you have an uh, offline uh, you you uploaded your files over here and then you want that those files should go your with your online profile that one you can also do so this is the sync file and these all are the uh, folders and it, it will also help you in finding the related articles when you uh, with the keywords and everything so if you have made the login then it will make your login from here you can search anything like if i search muhammad farooq so it will give you all my articles all the articles where I have been mentioned all the articles where um, I am the author so uh, this this is uh, this is this this such uh, place is very very powerful you can even write the sentences in the abstracts you can write like a long sentence and then you can find the relevant uh, references from that Mendeley my Mendeley is a bit heavy the reason behind this is you can see that it is selecting the 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 references from 2000 uh, 324 files it is selecting this is filtering the responses so also it's uh, late night uh, as you can see from the screen it's 12 53 a.m. so this is also the reason that I use the laptop all day and I think uh, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's a bit tired this time but it has selected all the you can say all the articles you can see these are all my articles for example you can open this article customer based brand equity and firm performance this article I wrote in uh, 2016 so it will open the complete article you can read that complete article you can see that complete article similarly you can click on some other article for instance you want to click on this one impact of OTT and telecom companies this one does not have the have the what they call it the document this is just a reference so you can see over here the document site is not there and I have not read it yet and this is not an important article you want to make some art article important you can just start those article for example I want to start this article so this is not important for me this is star article uh, and this is the red or unread the, the green means it's not read yet for example uh, this is my uh, I would like to open any of my articles let me see what files I have I have impact of OTT articles so I will I want to make it like I want to open it so uh, you can see impact of OTT on telecom companies this is my article it's written by me and Valiapan Raju you will see the abstract and all the content and everything so then now if you go here and uh, if you will find this article again and then you will find it as a red article most of the cases it will highlight no I'm just doing this in the search option but as you as you see now this article is red now this one is no more green it means it's this article is red I can make it an important article so uh, just like I will put that in the star so then I can filter based on the stars after clearing this I can f I will find it in the star articles okay so you can then just on a simple click uh, you can click on it and you can sort by you know the red articles or the articles which you have not read yet you can simply see the files which you have you can simply arrange alphabetically the author's name you can see the titles you can see year wise you can see published in you can see added in so this is this is all uh, about the interface of the of the Mendeley so I hope you found uh, it useful so now in the next part I will explain how you can do all these things how you can import all the articles and how you can download the Mendeley software how you can use it thank you